mental math, you're going to use it at very specific times in your life. And when you do, if you use it effectively, it will unlock doors that otherwise would be entirely closed to you. I'm Jenny Ray LaRue. I'm a former band consultant, and I've trained a couple of times in my life on mental math skills. They've been the key for me to get into the university that I wanted to go to, to get into the company, Bain and Company, that I worked for, and to get into the graduate school, Columbia Business School, that I worked for. And so while mental math is not something that you have to train on in an average everyday situation, it can make or break your future. In this episode, we're going to talk specifically about how to apply this in a consulting environment. It's out loud, so it's a little bit different than other mental math situations. Let's dive into the eight key tricks that are going to help you succeed in mental math for case interviews. Number one. Biggest mistake that people make is trying to dive into math without having all of the information. So our number one rule for mental math is recap the math. I worked with this woman at Yale who was at their MBA program and she came to me, she said, I am terrible at math. I said, great, let's do math. So we did a session on math and in the middle of it, I recognized that she was trying to blindly do math. That's impossible for anyone. So I said, you're not bad at math, you're bad at listening. And we figured out that the thing that she needed to do was primarily just recap the information, make sure that she had a full accounting of what it was, and then out loud explain what she was about to do with the numbers. Once she got that down, her actual computation was totally fine. So make sure that you start your mental math process by recapping the math. Number two, structure. After you recap the information, explain what it is that you're about to do. Walk through the algebra of the math. This helps you identify if you're missing anything or if you have extra information. Sometimes people try to put everything into a math soup, but you'll get in McKinsey red herrings of information that you don't need. And you'll get in places like Bain or BCG a missing piece of information that you have to ask for. So adding that structure step at the beginning both builds confidence in your interviewer and makes sure that you've got all the information you need to solve the math. Number three, don't forget about the insights. A lot of people, when they go through the math, clap themselves on the back and say, I'm so amazing, I calculated 700 times 22. What they forget is that that number has a meaning in the larger context of a business story. And so you can't just say what the number is and say that that's the answer. The answer for mental math in consulting interviews is actually the insights. Number four, it's okay to round. You can round from the ones place to the tens place on any kind of question. And you can always round in the last part of the problem, but you should practice minimal rounding. Don't round up egregiously. Don't round down egregiously. You want to have math be fast, but you also need it to be accurate. Here's the issue. Let's say you get through the first round and you round a good bit but then you move into the second and final round of your interview. The decision is on the line and you get a partner who is not sure about your math. You're rounding a lot to think that you're a little bit shaky. They'll tell you to do it exactly as it's written on the paper. If you freak out because you've been over rounding, you're going to break down at the time that it matters most. So when we're training people, we don't allow a ton of rounding in our interview preparation. Number five, reduce the numerical complexity. For example, if you're multiplying millions times billions, just take out the millions and take out the billions, take out the zeros, compute the actual digits, and then add the zeros back. It makes it a lot simpler to separate out the order of magnitude and the actual math, whether it's multiplication or division. So reduce the complexity of the numbers and get ready to practice doing that. Number six, one of our favorite tricks, and we've got lots of these inside our mental math course, is the have and double method. Many times when you're multiplying two large numbers, it's easier to have one and double the other. So for example, if you're multiplying 220 times 450, it's a lot easier to do the math if you have the 220 to 110 and you double the 450. 110 times 900 is a much easier piece of math to do. Number seven, small mistakes won't kill you, but freaking out will. It's totally normal to make mistakes. In fact, every single person on our incredible coaching team who weren't just 
good at getting into consulting or good at being in consulting or good at inviting other people to come into consulting, but they're fantastic coaches as well. Every single one made a math mistake in their interviews. Your job is not to be a robot and your job is not to freak out if you make a mistake. Your job is to identify if you're off by an order of magnitude or if you forget a step, to clarify it, to walk through with your interviewer about what the issue is and to maintain confidence and fluidity in math, as well as a focus on the insights. Number eight, even if you think that you can do all of these things, the only way that you'll actually know is to practice. Math drills for fast math are an absolute must. Good news, we've got free ones on our website, managementconsulted.com. In addition, there's an amazing course that we have, Mental Math for Consulting, so that if you're interested in getting access to that, you can buy that as a standalone course. We also have an amazing program called Black Belt, where you get access to mental math and one-on-one -on -one case preparation. So you should make sure you check out all that information on our website, managementconsulted.com. If you've got a math problem that's hanging you up, we'd love to help you out. One-on-one -on -one prep, our math drills, and our math courses are a great way to do that. And you can find out all of that information on managementconsulted.com. If you're interested in more tips and tricks for case and consulting interviews, please subscribe to this channel, send us an email if you've got a question, and follow along. We're constantly putting out new, amazing, and updated content. Thanks again for joining.